In this video, I'm going to tell you that there's maybe, possibly, a little bit of movement in the world of Kill Team. I'm hoping to keep this short, but eh, it's hard to say. So this video is coming out on July 9th, uh, 2021. It's a Friday, at least in my neck of the woods, early in the morning, as I am usually wont to do. Uh, starting on Saturday, around noon my time, central time, uh, there's going to be a big Twitch hootenanny from the folks over at Games Workshop, another one of the big kind of announcement video things that they've gotten into pretty hardcore since, well, basically since the, the, you know, the pandemic. They used to do these big kind of press things at the big conventions, Adepticon, Las Vegas Open, Nova Open, stuff like that. And uh, because of the pandemic and not being able to go to any of those shows, they started doing them on Twitch, and now they do them pretty frequently on Twitch, um, which, you know, is cool. So um, the one coming out this weekend, Saturday, the, well, I guess that would be the 10th, wouldn't it, would be... Um, they're calling it Warhammer Preview Online Octarius Mission Briefing. Now, let's just go through the text real quick here. Uh, basically, they said, Hot on the heels of the Dominion celebration, we're plunging headfirst into another Warhammer Preview Online this Saturday, this time giving you an early look at what's coming up next for Warhammer 40,000, period. Hard stop. Um, and then they talk about following the culmination of the Warzone Charadon story in Book 2, The Book of Fire. Uh, our eyes turn to Alta Segmentum, where a meaner, greener threat bros. So we, so we know that it's orcs, right? They, they've really mentioned a lot. The headline is another massive Warhammer preview online is coming. It's mighty, fighty, and green. That's, that's orcs. We know that. The thing that the graphics art nerd in me is noticing, though, here is that, and you can't see it, but I'll show it on the screen, uh, where it says Octarius Mission Briefing, that's the Kill Team font. That is the font that they used for Pry Nexus and uh, Rogue Trader and the Core, but like it's it's the it's the Kill Team font and it's orange on black, which is the Kill Team thing, right? So even though they said, "Oh, it's coming for 40k," technically it's Warhammer 40k or Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team is the full name of the whole thing. Um, actually, fun fact: currently the version that we're on is Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. Second edition. I was flipping through the um, Gen Con online event guide because I'll be at Gen Con this year and I came across some stuff from Kill Team and they would mention that the edition being used was for the events was second edition. So I was like, Illuminati confirmed, oh my goodness, like there's that's right here. They're saying that the second edition. But after some research and going and looking around a bit online through a couple different sources, including Lexicanum. The current version that we're you that we're playing of Kill Team is actually the second edition. The previous edition, what they call first edition, was more black and red. It came in a box uh, that and you had Space Marines and Tau in it, and it required that you already had the big rule book and um, your codex or codices or whatever to play. And this new second edition, which is the edition we're on now that most of us think of as first edition, actually is the edition where you just need the core book and then boom, you're done. Except unless you want to play Space Marines or Necrons, then you need the Prime Nexus book as well. I'll get into more of that in a sec. Anyway, so all that to say, when they say we're going to talk about Warhammer 40,000, they probably are, but that doesn't mean they're not also maybe going to talk a little bit about Kill Team. Now... I could be completely wrong. Someone there, in my opinion, could have goofed up and used the Kill Team font to make this graphic when talking about something that wasn't Kill Team. But that would be, well, if it was by mistake, it's kind of, eh. if they did it on purpose, that's a dick move. I don't believe they did, it. they did that. I have a suspicion that we're going to see some stuff that's going to be coming out. And my concern is that it's going to be another Pariah Nexus. Now, I don't mean that they're going to re-release Pariah Nexus. Nobody needs that. It's still sitting on shelves, frankly, at least in my local shops uh, near me, very probably near you as well. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is something, a release like Pariah Nexus, where you're going to get potentially two forces. We have to assume probably some orcs. Um, the prevailing kind of rumbling going around the internet is it would be new plastic commandos, which frankly would be pretty cool because I've, you know, wanted to use commandos in Kill Team for a while and you can't get them in plastic from what I can tell. So, you know, that would be actually pretty cool to have some new cool, you know, commandos. 
plastic commando, orc commandos for 40k. But then who are they going to fight against? You got to have somebody to go against. And by all bets, it's probably something Imperium, right? I personally said on Twitch, actually, when people were asking me about this, uh, I said on Twitch that I thought it would be something Imperial Guard related. Whether it would be, I mean, I guess they could just throw the Gaunt's Ghosts box in there, but it seems unlikely like they would do that. They could throw um, the the new <laughs> the new uh, box of um, you know Cadians in there, which is just basically the old box of Cadians, but with an extra sprue with some more heads and some more weapons. I talked about that box a little bit, but ciao. Um, or it could be something completely different that's also, um, you know, Imperial Guard. It might not even be Astra Militarum or whatever they like to be called. It, it, it could be technically anything else, uh, you know, but it's probably going to be something Imperium if you've got orcs. It would be unlikely that it would be orcs versus Eldar. That's kind of, I don't know why, but it's kind of weird. You wouldn't see that. But again, my concern is it's going to be another one of those boxes that's got a couple, well, more than a couple, but some models in there and then a board and then some more doors and waste paper baskets like they did in Pariah Nexus. And then um, a book, which you can't really get anywhere else, except if you wait for a while, you can get them on eBay because the people that bought Pariah Nexus, for the most part, were the people who were buying it so that they could have the models for 40 k And then they took all the extra stuff in there and just chucked it onto eBay. So if you're looking for just the Pariah Nexus book, I would check eBay. I bet you can find it for pretty cheap. Um, so they could be doing that whole sort of situation again. And then if they do that, that book will be the only place to get your orc uh, stats for, and I don't just mean the new commandos, but the whole orc army most likely, like they did with Pariah Nexus. And then the other army, which like I said, might be Imperial Guard. It's hard to say, I'm guessing. So if they do that, what does that mean? Well, it could mean some pretty bad things for Kill Team, frankly. If this is the way that they plan on sort of updating Kill Team from now on by dropping these, well, Pariah Nexus was 160 bucks American. If they're going to drop these boxes on us that update two armies at a time and also throw in some models in there, which if you just wait, they'll come out eventually and then you'll be able to buy them separately. And then, you know, um, and then also, of course, the doors and the waste paper baskets uh, for terrain. Um, if that's what they do, that's a really bad sign, in my opinion, for Kill Team. What they need to do, frankly, is they need to release a new edition, or at the very least, release uh, a Kill Team annual something. You know what I mean? Like something other than having to buy these boxes with all this stuff in it. They need to release something that, that soon. And my fear is, is that they're going to release Prime Nexus, now this new uh, 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 Octarius mission, whatever, a box, let's say, and it's basically Pariah Nexus 2.0, but with, you know, orcs and somebody else. They do that. Maybe they do it another time, you know, like in fall. And then maybe the beginning of 2022, then they're like, oh, hey, here's the new core book and all the stuff. And here's a box and all that jazz. It's now, you know, Kill Team 2.0. Well, technically 3.0, but, you know, um, which will then kind of, frankly, sort of invalidate those previous, the Pariah Nexus, the Actarius, the whatever, and the... I don't know what they're doing right now with Kill Team, but it is, I don't think it's the right direction. I think that putting out these boxes, sure, they sort of sell relatively well. Like I said, they sold out on the website pretty quickly, but my local shops have got at least a couple to four copies sitting on the shelf. So you can, you know, it's not hard to go find the gate that the box, if you want to find it, just go on to, you know, your, you go to your local store your local, uh, you know, independent store. Maybe the GW stores are out, but I don't know. But I know the independent stores that I go to, I find it. And if you're just looking for the book, again, you know, eBay, there's another thing you can do there. But forcing us to basically have to go to eBay to buy another book just to figure out what our stats are for our Necrons that we want to play in, um, you know, in the game, that's a real bummer. Or if we're like, well, you know what, I like, like to play Space Marines. Because, you know, some people, they like to play Space Marines, I've seen. Um, and now you're like, cool, I have to go buy this extra book, search it on eBay, or just go actually buy the whole Pariah Nexus box so that I can get the stats for my intercessors or whatever has changed. Because the intercessors now have, uh, have the two wounds, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty, it's, so it's a, it's a thing, and it's, um, it's not a good situation. So if, if this happens this weekend where they're coming out with another Pariah Nexus style box, again, a box with two forces and a book and whatnot, and maybe, you know, again, some waste paper baskets and some 
doors, then okay, um, that's going to be a bummer. To, now, if they do that and then also say, oh, and guess what? You know, the next edition is definitely coming. We, it's coming. You'll see it at Christmas. You'll see it in the beginning of 2022. Whatever the deal is, some sort of news like that. It'll still be a bummer, but at least we'll know. And that, I think, is going to be important. If they just come out with this uh, uh, Octarius uh, whatever box and uh, and just go, here you go, look, new, more, more Kill Team stuff, and then nothing about like what's coming after that, uh, whether there's a new edition coming or not, that's going to be, I think, like I said, a pretty bad sign because then they're very possibly they think that they should just keep kind of just tinkling out these little boxes um, that cost 160 bucks plus. And, uh, and that's the way that they're going to update the game. And I don't think it's a good idea. So hopefully we'll know more when we watch the or read the recap. You don't have to necessarily sit there and watch the Twitch thing if you don't want to. You might have things going on. You might have to work or hang out with your family. But, you, you know, it'll be on the web like pretty much right afterwards. So, you know, we'll know more uh, by the next time you and I chat, most likely. Um, and so I think that will be nice because it's going to... I've been playing some more Warcry lately, and that's been a lot of fun. And I I do love Kill Team, but I got to say right now it's on the back burner because I don't know where it's going. And I think that that's happening with a lot of people. I'm getting questions from a lot of folks that are like, I'm getting into Wargaming. I'm interested in Kill Team because I like sci-fi and I like 40K stuff. I want to play, but not an entire army. How do I go about doing that right now? Because do I need to buy this? Do I need to buy Pariah Nexus? Is that where I start? And I tell people, just go buy the, the $40 book and start from there. And then have to explain, unless you're interested in playing Space Marines, which most people are, or Necrons, which also a lot of people are, then you need to go find the Pariah Nexus book, which is a big mistake on my part, or in my opinion. It's not my part. I didn't do it. Don't, don't send me emails. Um, yeah, so they need to fix it is the long and the short of it, and I hope that they do it soon. And um, I guess we'll know more in a couple of days. Here's hoping.